All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finishing up the Popular Monster full album review, and we are listening to Last Resort. I know the song, I know the video, it's very good, but we are just tying everything up. We've done the whole album, so we're gonna see how it ends and kind of how it ties into everything. So we're just gonna jump in, man. I love this version. I know Jacoby loves this version. Everybody loves this fucking version because it's fantastic. So let's just jump in, man, and uh, see if we can pull anything else out of this album or out of the song to see how it ties into the album. So let's get to it, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. And if you enjoy it, like, subscribe, all that stuff. <laughs> so after everything that's happened, he burned down the world. He's alone in this town city So that line actually really helps tie it together because after everything that's happened, this really is his last resort, last stand, last song, last everything. Like it, it actually really ties in, which is impressive because it's not, he didn't write the song, so he had to make it kind of fit, you know? That note, that note. Um, another thing is he's gotten rid of everybody, so now no one can tell him he's fine. Right? Like, that's kind of crazy, too. Like, how this really does tie in perfectly to finish off this album. I'm fine. Like, he, he's alone. That's so pretty. I never realized I was spread too thin till it was too late and I was empty within feeding on chaos and living in sin downward spiral where do I begin it all started when I lost my mother no love for myself and no love for another Pain and the agony that he puts into this song is so beautiful, man. And no one can hear him because they're all gone, dude. This ties into his album story so well. Mm. 
Dude, that also is kind of making sense. Cut my like I've never thought about it that way. Cut my life into pieces. But like you can kind of compartmentalize pieces of your like time periods of your life into sections. And I feel like he can very well do that with everything that's happened with him. You know? note will forever be hauntingly beautiful oh my god i got a story actually i'm gonna tell this story really quick um my mom is not a harsh vocal person at all she doesn't like it she doesn't understand it but i showed her the song to see what she thought and she goes that harsh vocal is actually perfect for the song because it's not just there to be there it makes sense he's crying out in pain you know like it makes sense i was like wow okay didn't expect that reaction. But for it to go through like that to a 73 year old tells you how well this is done, that it connected to someone who doesn't like that at all, really, in music. Uh, what a perfect way to end an album off. Unbelievable. All right, so we're going to run through what I think the story is really quick, and then we're going to end this as a whole. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're watching the individual video, I hope you enjoyed, man. As always, like, subscribe, check out the Patreon and the merch store and all that stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. As always, stay happy, stay healthy later but if you're watching the full uh full video i should have probably done that later but let's go through it really quick prequel he gets his crown of thorns to see through all the bullshit he gets his powers he finds his suit cool popular monster i think he goes back to reality finds that it sucks is depressed goes through it but his daughter kind of pulls him out of that and shows him the light all my life he's in the light he comes down on a unicorn everything's happy but then he kind of falls off the train tracks literally and figuratively robs a bank no bueno um ronald he realizes life sucks it's not all happy everything's kind of shit sometimes and uh then he meets up with those god people that give him all of his powers back he meets up with tech nine he gets his suit of armor back he goes he fights alex the devil and i think wins so then in voices in his head he's dealing with all of that internally um that's why he's in a cage his eyes are closed we go into his brain to see what's going on in there he's fighting himself inside the city just going through the shit but at the end of the song he opens his eyes and the door is open like he's okay he's dealt with it right um bad guy is really uh i think i know who i am i think i figured out what i am now you have to deal with it like this is just what it is Watch the world burn is a, I know who I am, so don't push me too far because this is what will happen, right? So don't be a sheep, but don't push me too far, right? Then trigger warning is a, um, if we don't stand up and be individuals and stop being sheep in the herd, we're going to lose ourselves and lose our country and lose everything. Uh, then you go into zombified, which is a, this is what people turn into. And it's also after watch the world burn. Cause there's like an ap apocalyptic thing going on, but it's very much, this is what the world will turn, will turn into. If everyone keeps being zombies and just following the narrative and not thinking for themselves in that sort of thing. Um, no fear is kind of the same message 
kind of wraps it up into a bow of like, this is what I told you was going to happen. If we don't do something about it, we're all fucked. So start not fearing being yourself. Stop just following the narrative blindly and think for yourself, right? And then Last Resort really does tie it all together. He's alone in the city that he burned down. Everybody's gone. He's crying out for help and somebody to be there. And there's no one left. So he has to learn that he has to be the one to put the pieces together for himself and kind of fix his own world. And that's where we're at. And in the end, he does. And then we get this beautiful fucking album. And the whole thing is amazing. So it really was a really cool journey. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you think I'm absolutely insane and I just made some shit up, that could be. But um, I think I kind of got somewhere with it. Maybe I'm on track. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. But I thought it was really fun to make up my own thing. So let me know in the comments what you thought. I hope you guys enjoyed, man. And as always, if you did, make sure you subscribe. Uh, check out the Patreon, the merch store. If you hear all the crap going on upstairs, I apologize. My daughter's running around like a nutcase. And uh, yeah, ma uh, perch, merch, <laughs> Patreon, merch store, football podcast. Follow all this stuff. Everything's linked down below. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you in the next one, man. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. Later.